Hey guys, today we'll be taking a look at a new type of keyboard which is completely new from the traditional keyboards which we have here. So I use a mechanical keyboard from the brand HC Man. I'll be doing an individual review about this uh, keyboard which is very very cheap. I got this uh, under $30. So in a regular keyboard, we have regular keys. We can just keep on typing stuff and then it just types it onto a screen or a monitor which we have here. Well, that's the traditional keyboard. So, I'm going to be showing you a new type of keyboard which can, which also has keys, which also has the same typing function, but it doesn't look like a regular keyboard, which basically means that it's not going to be this bulky piece of hardware which I have over here. I'm just going to be typing on this board with my fingers over here, and it's still going to keep on typing. Well, you might think it's a magic show, but it's not a magic show. It's a piece of technology which I will be unboxing in very very short time so let's take a look at what it is but the hint about this particular keyboard is that it just works only when it is dark such that I can see the keys this the piece of hardware which I'm trying to show to you guys might look kind of familiar familiar from the games which you play or might kind of resemble some hacking hardware but it's not either of that. It's a very cheap technology which can be which is available on Amazon. I'm gonna be providing the link of the technology available under $30. So you guys can keep guessing this piece of technology which I'm gonna unbox. So let's take a look of that particular technology. Here it is. Okay, guys, so if you guys are wondering what device I'm trying to unbox over here. It is the laser projection keyboard. So this is the laser projection keyboard, which I, which you see over here. Over the uh, laser projection keyboard, let me show you how it looks. So obviously you need a flat surface for the laser projection keyboard to work. It doesn't work on a cloth or a unlevel surface. So I'm going to place my projection keyboard over here, and I'm going to turn it on. So if you want to turn it on. Uh, that's the power button over here. I'm going to be providing a link of this device in the video down in the video, and uh, you can actually purchase this on Amazon. I bought it for under thirty dollars, so that's the most best part of this device because you can impress your friends. Also, this is available on Amazon for under thirty bucks, so pretty cool, I would say. So let's turn this on. And that's the that's it over here. So this is the layout of my keyboard. Obviously, you can't see it. So I'm going to make sure the lights are turned off. All right here we go. Lights off. Lights off again. There you have it guys, this is the laser projection keyboard, which is pretty cool. So it has almost the same layout of a normal keyboard, except the numpad and the numbers over here are missing. But then I'm going to be showing, telling you how this device basically works. Okay, now let's take a look at the parts of the laser projection keyboard. So here we have the power on off button, here we have the micro USB slot for charging the device and then we have three major components so at first we have the uh, beamer which basically diffracts the beam of light coming from inside onto the level surface such as this which displays the keyboard layout the second device we see over here is another projection device which basically emits an invisible beam of light which is kind of superimposed on the keyboard the final uh, element which we see in the laser projection keyboard is the camera element or the CMOS camera element. So, what this basically does is that it, this is the sensor and the detect detection uh, device. So, it basically tracks and detects which key you are pressing on the keyboard layout and interprets it to the software. The software basically converts these coordinates into particular actions or keys and these keys are then displayed onto the device which you are typing onto. 
So that basically explains the uh, parts of the laser projection uh, uh, keyboard. So this device can be connected to other peripherals using a Bluetooth connectivity. The battery on this thing is, I think, around 1000 uh, milliamperes, which is 1000 mAh, which is really, really good. It stores charge for about eight hours, I would say. And the I'm going to be showing you what are the cons of this device as well. Another advantage is the price, basically. It's for $30, it's really cheap, and you can use this on any level surface, which basically means that you don't have to connect your keyboard. For example, if you have a surface and you're limited to number of ports, you can use this device. This connects well and well to surface, and then you can use this. Another more important feature is that when you're not using the keyboard, it has an auto sleep function, which basically means that it saves power when you're not using it, because every, every time I have to type on the keyboard, it lights up again, and then it allows me to type in. So that's the auto uh, power function of the keyboard. Now, now let's take a look at the cons. The response time of this keyboard compared to normal keyboards is very, very less. Which basically means that response time of this keyboard takes a little bit more time to process, sends it to the monitor. I'm going to be showing you a video of that as well. And another most irritating part of this keyboard is that it makes a funny clinky sound, which basically means that if you're in a meeting or if you're outside typing your homework or something that every time this happens, you're going to be hearing that sound. So that's the most annoying part of this keyboard. I'll be showing you right now how when you type, you see output characters being projected onto your, lab, onto your iPad or uh, your computer. So I'm going to be using an iPad 3. Alright, this uh, laser keyboard basically uses a Bluetooth connectivity. So over here you see the name uh, laser keyboard. Once you plug onto that, it's basically connected. So once you see that done, it basically tells that it's connected and you're all ready to go for the uh, let me show you more better view so that you guys can see it. Here's a more better view. So once you connect on to the laser keyboard, it basically gets connected, and then you're all ready to use it with the device which you intend to use it with. So to show you how it basically works, right? So let's start. All right. So it does type. So I'm actually typing over here. You can see that I'm typing actually. And there you see letters being projected. It's not like I'm typing over here, someone's typing in the background, and then you see letters coming onto the screen. The speed of the device is okay, I would say. The response time is good. But then the more the most important concern for a lot of people is that it makes that clinky sound. So if you probably have more modifications such that this clinky sound is reduced, it is it'll be a really really good device I would really recommend you guys to buy this product it's cheap second thing is you can impress people it is really good if you don't like carrying a large big keyboard along with you and if you want to use it for an iPad or something like that yeah you can buy those compact keyboards but then it's gonna cost you money so instead of that you can go for this device over here and, and it is also really really cool thank you so much guys for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more content in, the, in my next video, I'll be doing the unboxing of the Tesla Semi and also I'll be reviewing the mechanical keyboard which I just showed in the beginning of my video, how cheap it is and how effective it is in typing.
Also, uh, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And thank you so much for watching the video again. Signing off, The Technologist.